All right. I am blessed to have Zandile. How are you, Zandile? I'm good. Uh, thanks for asking. How are you? I'm well. I'm well, thanks. Um, we, we had a first trial. <laughs> it went horribly wrong. Uh, so what happened to, to those who are listening or watching is that um, we recorded the podcast and... I lost, not necessarily lost, but I, di- I didn't use the mics to record. I used the laptop, so we had to do it again. So thank you so much for your generosity. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. Such an honor to be here. Yeah. So um, I, I feel like I'm. this is something that I want to try to do um, every time I have a guest is just try to to introduce the podcast. That uh, This is a podcast for professionals okay. who come and share their experiences and okay find ways to help someone who's going to be listening to the podcast mm, mm. Uh, with that said is um, please introduce yourself and what you do oh okay thank you so my name is Zandile Singwane I am original from Pomalanga but now based in Cape Town so what I do now I actually studied horticulture but what I do now is sort of different mm. you know I'm now uh, working as a facility officer which like is a facility manager so you're just managing yeah. a facility so yeah nice um, uh, that sounds <laughs> exciting <laughs> but I, I just want to get to the horticulture side of, okay. of things because um, I think there's people who are actually studying body culture now mm-hmm. and they want to know hey, what what am I going to be doing but yeah. I think varsity <clears throat> actually does a, a bit of, a bit of justice in terms of in terms of understanding what you're going to be doing when you're yeah, done yeah so uh, let's take it back to your CPU today okay um, or maybe let's take it much back. Okay. <laughs> how 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 did you get to know about horticulture and actually apply for horticulture? Oh, okay. Uh for me, um, I can just say I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> sure. I can just say straight up that it was God, you know. But yeah, because I wanted. I did. I think I did say before that I wanted to do medicine. You know, those are things that we kind of sort of um, exposed to. You know, you exposed to. I'm from the village, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so you kind of exposed to. You know, uh, teaching, uh, nursing. Uh, so now we're also like you know, medicine, um, science, and also slowly um, engineering. engineering sure. Yeah engineering so okay so now here i am uh grade 12 i'm done with grade 12 so okay my results <laughs> cannot do medicine mm. so okay so i wanted to repeat actually and then at home they were like no no and also you know when you have passed you cannot go back to to the school mm. you have to go to a private school so mm. now no one was gonna pay for me because I was like, no, but you passed, you know, sure. just just move on. Mm-hmm. So, because sometimes you know, parents they have a tendency of not really understanding a dream, mm. how it can be yeah. and all that. So, so now, okay, I, I just okay, like everyone else is like now, you know, is going to, looking for school, and I did not apply. <laughs> So you didn't apply? No, I didn't apply. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't apply. Sure. So. And um, I didn't even know about a gap year because I think that is something that I was supposed, you know, to do mm. that year. But I was like, okay. And, you know, like, when you're, when you're doing grade 12, you know, like, the, you're just looking forward to go to varsity, not to study, just the vibes, just, yeah, you know. So now I was like, a gap year. No, no, I'm, I'm moving on. So now, okay, I, I had a cousin who was, like, studying in a college, like, in a FET in Whitbank. So now... um. I went there and then she just helped me with registrations and stuff. So I registered now and then I was studying electrical engineering. Okay. Yeah. So I did electrical engineering for that year. And, you know, as I'm doing this thing, I'm kind of like, no, no, this is just not for me. <laughs> and and it's a big uh change between medicine and the actual electrical engineering. Exactly. Yeah. And also, I was kind of also not inspired when it comes to it because, I don't know, it's, it's what we just discussed, you know, before starting the podcast, that mm. as a, a woman, as also as like a growing up, you know, I just have this dream, you know, to kind of like, I have this picture in my mind, okay, this is how my husband's going to be, this is how 
my family, you know, the setup, like I have sure. that setup in my mind. So, and also in general, I just saw those people like they're working night nice shift and I didn't want to work a night shift <laughs> in my life, like that's the road. Cause I'm like, sure. who's going to remain with my kids? Who's going to remain with my husband? When I'm yeah. like, <laughs> no, going to work. And also, so I had a cousin there who was like uh, working already. So he was like, um, I don't know what the thing is about it. Cause like a technician. So he started, he said me- mechatronics, something mechatronics, like that. Mechatronics, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Something like that. So he, that guy was never home. Sometimes okay. he would just like come and just sleep for two hours. And the next thing is gone. And I was like, no. And you know, I'm just exposed to that thing. I'm like, no, this is not my life. Sure. You know, this is not life. I want to mm. have life. Sure. You see, even when I'm working, I want to have life. I believe that, as I said, that I'm a woman. You see, I still have to help my kids with hormones. So, mm. so if even if I'm working king, it should be something from eight to four. Like, you know, those normal hours. Like normal hours, yeah. Yeah, not like now, middle of the night, they say you haven't stand by. Hey, during the day, I haven't stand by. So now you cannot just be with your family. Yeah. So, so yeah, so I just like, it's like... I don't know even if maybe I went to a state of depression, but we didn't know about depression, you know, yeah, those yeah, days. True, yeah. yeah. So, but I was like, no, this is not um, something I want to do for the rest of my life. So there was nothing enjoyable about doing electrical No, but, but the funny part of it, I was passing it. Nice. <laughs> I nice. was like uh, mm. passing it, but I was not so enjoying you, you, it. How far did you get uh, if you're doing the college thing? I I have entry. Entry, okay, yeah. sure. So just I have entry. Mm. So so now also I was in this I don't know stage of my life where also I'm kind of like looking for God, you mm. know. And uh, so now it was more f- I just want to pursue God sure. and my studies. So it's like now okay I want to pursue God also want to study but I'm like don't know what to study I'm like so now okay. You know, um, going around. Oh, I got a brochure for CPUT, okay. and then I'm just like uh, paging it, paging it. I'm just uh, searching. I'm like ah, engineering again. Uh, designs? No, don't even know what is it. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, so on science. Okay, I'm seeing all this Bobai and all this scientific thing, and then mm. I came across horticulture. And then that, you know, just took my attention. I was like, horticulture, what is horticulture? And then, of course, I just read that because, you know, they did do explain like a bit there. And then the brochure just started to, to bring you back. Where did you get it? Did you find it from someone? Or? Yes, I got it from a friend. Okay. I got it from a friend. He was already in CPG studying. I think he was doing IT. Mm. Was doing IT, yeah. So which means, sorry, sorry for, for cutting you there, know, is, okay. so which means the, the most important thing for like students in high school to kind of like understand what different university offers is by probably having a brochure and some of them probably now they're using the internet but i think in our time we didn't really have exactly. access to internet exactly sure sure exactly okay and i wish i wish i was also like uh, we're also exposed to youtube because i think it does sure. justice it sure. really does justice mm-hmm. So, so yeah, so, and before that, you know, he used to be like, let's apply in Cape Town, like me, Cape Town, come on, <laughs> that's a matter of And you, you really think about Cape Town when you are probably in Limpopo, you think Jombeg is probably the best place to, to be? I actually sort of wanted to be in KZN. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to KZN. I think also it's because like my uncle, you know, studied there and most of the people from my village was kind of like, UK is at the end, UK is at the end. So it's kind of like a familiar thing. You see? Mm. So it's kind of that I can say that's what you're exposed to. Sure. So I wanted um, KZN or Limbom, not Cape Town. Not even like Jobbik. I don't like Jobbik. Yeah. I don't like Jobbik. I know like, a lot of people don't like Jobbik. Yeah, it's I'm just too them. busy for me. And I don't like mm. a place like that. Sure. So, so yeah. So I was considering Devin, like, yeah, going that side. So now he applied in Cape Town. It's like, no, go, go well. And also, you know, Cape Town, how sometimes you just see the stories on TV gangsters. I'm like, oh, mm. that's just easy. You're afraid of the color. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yo, so it's just, you know, you get afraid mm. of those things. Yeah. And also, you know, when it's like now it's winter, you see, you see um, the, what is it? The sharks, you know, in what, and you just think Cape Town is just that, that is Cape Town. You sure. Know? So, so yeah, so I was like, no, I'm not going to that place. I am not going there. <laughs> so now, um, 
I'm just like as I said, uh, so this what's the culture thing. So I I I now started like researching, but still when I'm reading the internet and mind you, those this English is still a problem. <laughs> <laughs> So even when they're explaining them, like not really, no getting the sense of it. Yeah. So uh, there's, there was a guy from uh, back at home from the village. I knew he was doing something like agriculture. I was like, okay, maybe I can ask because of course I can see it's like this agriculture thing there. Mm, mm, mm. I can maybe ask him about it if he maybe like knows it because he was like in China studying like agriculture. Nice. So, so yeah, so I reached out to the guy on Facebook and then, yeah, he explained in a way that I, I think there, you know, I would understand. Mm. I'm like, okay, I actually can do this. So I didn't become a doctor for human beings. I can actually <laughs> become a doctor for, for plants. plants. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and I think that's a very nice way to actually explain what horticulture is. Mm-hmm. Sure. So you're a doctor for plants. <laughs> yes. Nice, so like, nice. I can be a doctor for plants. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. So that was okay. So I'm just thinking about it, and it also was like in my spirit, you know. And I had Cape Town. Your face, you're, you're you're looking for God as well. Hey, yes, <laughs> sure. you know. So when I'm also like looking for God, God, like like in my spirit, I just had like Cape Town. I was sure. Like, okay, so Cape Town is it? And I applied. You know, I applied. Um, I don't know what else did I apply, but I got rejected on that and accepted mm. in hot culture. And sure. it's like. And then everyone at home, you know, was excited. I'm going to Cape Town. <laughs> and then how did you feel for you when you got accepted and you're thinking of leaving? Because I remember you're already doing a course uh, in electrical engineering and leaving that and getting prepared in ex- uh, for, for, for horticulture and a new environment, new, envir- new place as well. The honest truth is that I was so excited. Okay. I was excited because it's just like, as I said, the letter came in. Because it's my sister, I remember, who fetched the letters from the post office, mm. uh, you know, that day. And it was like, I got your letter from, oh, I was not home. I think I was still, yeah, I was still in weeping. Mm. And then my sister's like, there's a letter for you from the like, Cape Peninsula. And I was like, yeah, did you read it? Did you open it? She mm. was like, yes, and you know, you've got rejection. Sorry, sis. Like, oh, she. I was like, I'm kidding. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I just screamed. I'm just like, I'm sure. excited. Sure, sure. So, yeah, so I just like now went home and, you know, like told the product, like, okay, got mm. accepted. So now we started like preparing for that. And first time I was coming here, my boss almost left me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so did you come alone? No, I came uh, with a friend again because okay. it was, um, and we even came early because he, he was home December. Mm. Then yeah, then January we just uh, came back together. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay. Mm. So so you get to to Cape Town and you are you're learning the environment and the new course that you're studying. Uh, how is it? What what is it that you you kind of like get shocked or you get surprised by when you're still doing uh, horticulture? When I was like, is that when I started? You know, when you started, I don't know. We we okay we're studying. We uh, we attend class and and I was like, and I'm sitting with the books. I'm like, where did I put myself into? <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready. Exactly, sure. you know. And I'm like, what did I put myself into? And, uh, you know, as it continued, I think there was a day early, you know, we we wrote we wrote a test and I failed that test. Mm. And Zeka. Exactly. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, sure. we're in varsity, you know, mm. we don't really study like um, secondary, but we just used to study, you know, like sure. secondary school. So you apply that now, and I just failed the test. Not mm. bad, not that bad, but I failed. You know, the, the, the thing the that you mark, failed. The postmark is different. It's no longer forties and thirties <laughs> from high school. It's now fifty. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> sure. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> so, and I get angry at God. I'm like, we here. And look at me now. I don't know anyone. You know that thing is mm. you don't know anyone, you don't know who to approach. You just and you're scared also to kinda of approach lectures because you don't again mm. language. I think sure. that was also a thing, you know, <laughs> you don't even know like how you could <laughs> a 
approach the lectures and say what mm. you see was it was it the was it language like was it that bad was it bad to a point where you like Ish, i can't really not, hold the conversation or something it's like. if mine was not really that bad because i'm always have been this um person who i, I do things extra i always get to, uh go extra mile okay. you know for myself because i also used to sit on the tv i'll not be really watching the generation or whatever but i'm just watching that mm. when someone says something like this because most of them they were in vernacular see mm. when someone maybe say something like that in zulu so this is the word in english you oh, see okay. so of course now we were struggling most with the in it yo mm. i don't know what is it called <laughs> but those are the things you know putting i would knowing like what something is but now constructing the oh, the oh the the i see the i see and and it sure. and and mm. you see uh, uh, confusing he and she <laughs> things like sure that. <laughs> sure yes and and also i think confidence mm. i think confidence wise yeah i think sure. i didn't really have because you got to visit people are rolling english you know that's mm. like they're from america sure <laughs> <laughs> so you just sit there like wow you're just like wow so yeah, yeah. your confidence now you know to just because you are afraid of most of the time you're afraid of failing mm. so that's the honest truth because you and also you came you kind of came with the high school mentality sure. you know because in high school yeah, they would deal with like laugh you know how yeah yeah, yeah sure sure school kids are like once you make like a mistake they'll just rude, like yeah. you know just laugh loud and sure. it disturbs you as a person you sure. know so i think also came with that mentality to say once i know i say something wrong they'll laugh at me you know once i say something wrong they'll laugh at me so mm. just keep quiet now yeah. and then also in keeping quiet that's when you're not learning you know because mm. when you learn you see uh when you speak there are people who like uh i remember also i don't know but it was like uh the guy i was working with he used also to kind of correct me but in a way it's like repeating the statement but i will mm. see it as a oh so it's, a, so it's like you would say something <laughs> wrong and you would say something the same very same thing but in a corrected way exactly okay. and okay. i'll pick it i'll pick up and then no was it a student or a no he lecture? was not a student he was a, a technician so okay, now sure. i get to like work with him you know mm, he used mm. to correct me like oh and repeat like kind of this oh like oh. <laughs> <laughs> but i mean so, that's 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 a gentle way of exactly, teaching you exactly that's well, how yeah. i'm saying that you see but if i could have kept quiet sure, i was sure. never gonna know that you see? Sure. so that's why i'm saying that also in like speaking that's mm-hmm. when you also get to to actually learn you mm. see because you have been corrected mm-hmm. you see to say no you don't say it like this you say it like that sure <laughs> so so yeah so now i'm failing and i'm failing this test and as i said i don't know anyone mm. and i just went home and i'm like god like i'm angry because i haven't met like new people you know and i haven't met friends i haven't made friends have you finished the semester at this point no 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 it's because no it's, it's before the first sorry few, few it's months, before yeah. yeah okay it's before the, fi- the the semester finishes so okay so now um i'm like praying you know i'm praying to god i'm angry and praying <laughs> Sure. So, uh, so now what happened is, uh, um, I went to class this other day, you know, and also in, in, in my, you also know we grew up, we grew up in church. You know? I know you said it's a professional space, but mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean like, let's, it's, it's part of your story at the end exactly. of the day. Exactly. Yeah. So we grew up in, uh, in church. So we kind of also have, uh, have, you know, that's guilty, you know, when you don't go to church on Sunday. So oh, now okay. I'm in school, so I'm starting to feel that, you know, of course yeah. I went like, I went to church. So like the Sundays, I can feel them that no, yeah. Sunday is there for church. <laughs> so, so yeah, so now I'm also like in search of that. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm also in search of a church. I'm also in search of friends, like good friends. So, so this thing now happens that this other day I went to class and as I said, that's just so scripture, you know, written in, in the chalkboard. Mm. And... That encourages me, and God just, you know, led me to the certain lady I mentioned before. Is the, it was LP Nandi, mm. and then and I was like, no, I'm scared, you know, I'm scared to approach her. Yeah. And she was very, very. Was she a pastor lady. at that time? Or no, she was not a pastor. She was just a sister in, in in class. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and then I'm just I got scared of approaching her, and also she was um because she was also like answering in class and learning, and sometimes I'll hear and like speaking with other people. And okay. Also, her English was on point. So I'm like, how am I gonna approach her? Sure. Sure. So, so yeah. 
So, uh, so what happened now? Also, I uh, also this other Friday, then he comes wearing SEO t shirt so that was easy. I'm like, okay, you know, SEO t shirt, they write also a verse, mm. so you could see that. Oh, okay, this is like a church thing because at school, I think we have LCM, I think okay. it's called LCM, yeah. Mm-hmm. So now, when you move to school, this is move to varsity's SEO, so mm. okay, I approach her and like asking, like, oh. So, so you go to SO and she was like yeah yeah so now she started like explaining okay the venue and everything and then okay so then Friday I just went like joining uh, them in SO and then that's when like I started like meeting new friends meeting new people now we are in church and it's kind of like the two things that as I said I was just pursuing now like God and my studies mm. just came coming together, together yeah, yeah it's coming together now sure. so so that was like a big breakthrough for you. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Finding, yes. Uh, not only finding school, mm-hmm. but also finding uh, a place where you can worship. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so how? What are the things that you did to to make sure that you end up being a graduate, and and maybe just getting into the details of how was horticulture like studying studying it. Okay, mm. so from there, uh, the honest truth that I started enjoying it. Of mm. course, there were like this subject called plan, uh, PMS. Okay. Hey, was dealing with me. <laughs> so showing you uh, flames. Yes. Uh, sure. It was uh, dealing with me, the botany, the botany uh, part. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Because the other one, it was like the description of the plants, you know, just known the tree, the tree names and uh, plants names. The mm. other one is, was like the biology of the like now plants. You're like mm. getting deep, you know. Oh, there's also biology for plants. Yes, that's why I'm saying you're a wow. doctor. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds interesting. Well, what is that like? What is that like? Uh, the, the biology of plants? So it's... um. As I said, it's more of you are learning again about the plant cells. Mm. Yes. Yeah. How it actually transport yes. water and stuff. Yes. Yes. That is mm. it. Your xylems, your fluid. <laughs> you sure. know, those things. It's just, as I said, getting deep because also you must just, um, now, as I said, that, that the other side, you, the other side, you know, the plant, the plant names, sorry, the plant names and, um, you know, the description of that plant and the other side now, you must kind of now sort of know that, how to propagate the plant, you know, how to know when the plant is short of water, how to know when the plant is sick, you know, mm. how to know when the plant is also too much water. Mm. So so those are the things now, you see, that you, you get from the other side. It really sounds uh, interesting. And also and pest controlling, you know. Sure, that, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Which ones is good for mm-hmm. the actual actual plant uh, for me for me wait, as you're explaining that i'm actually realizing that it feels like something which almost every human being needs to have since we are in this great exchange mm-hmm. between human beings and uh, and plants mm-hmm. we give them carbon dioxide <laughs> and they give us oxygen and i mean some of the foods if not most of the foods that we eat it's actually plants just to understand plants in that detail, I think it would be a uh, a good thing. So at least we know how to co coexist mm-hmm. with plants mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. But I think I, I just I just liked how you explained that you are a biologist. <laughs> you're, like, you're a doctor, doctor for yeah. yeah, you're a doctor for thing. So so I think you're still explaining in terms of uh, uh, like I said, like uh, how how did you get to actually. Uh, make sure that you 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 graduate because sometimes you when once you are at school there there are things that can make make be hinder you or the things that you were doing that made you not to maybe perform mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the way that you would have wanted to perform so maybe you can just give us a uh, light in that okay so um there as i said now i started enjoying the course now yeah, sure. friends i'm I'm sorted with church and yeah and we started like cross nighting mm. and we're like passing you know sure. passing doing presentations you know together i remember this other day you know we did a presentation and then this other guy even said like but he's just spoke it in course i saying yo like the Bible is helping us, like and you know, that it might be you know. Sure. <laughs> it's a good like, compliment, oh, by the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> sure. You know, so I was like, okay, so we nailed the presentation. Mm. You see, mm. so uh, from there, yeah, things uh, um, started um, flowing. 
But get now, so now we are done in class, you know, in beauty in service training comes. Sure. Yeah. So now I struggled, I struggled getting an in service training. Mm. I how long did it take for you? I can say because we start most as we are in um in a semester for next year. Mm -hmm. So I don't even remember how long did it take, but I I was just struggling. I think also, again, exposure. You see, because mm. I was not also exposed to many places in Cape Town. I was even telling someone that I've been in Cape Town, but I never hiked. I never been to oh, Table Mountain. Sure, sure. So I was also not exposed to many places, you know, mm. like uh, to even say, okay, you can actually write like letters, you know, to companies to ask for in service training. I didn't really know that because also there was this thing in my. Um, I don't know if it, it was happening in your course to to be placed. There yeah, was this yeah, there's uh, a placement, placement officer. officer. Yeah. Sure, yes, sure. Uh, yeah, there was a placement officer, and they were like, I don't know, maybe it was starting with the top students, mm. and then I just don't know what happened there. So I ended up um, doing mine in school. Mm. There's a class house there, so I ended up doing mine there, and it was just a blessing in disguise, you know that. Okay. It okay. was just, and we're not getting paid. We're getting paid, I think, two hundred a month. <laughs> Hectic. And that went so much just to say, at least you buy ice cream. I'm like, what's mm. ice cream? Trying to encourage but, you. Yeah. Mm. But it was a blessing in reading this case because I, I became close to that technician and mm. that's, I learned a lot. Mm. You know, I learned a lot and also I gained was a relationship. It, was it the same technician who was teaching you how to? Yeah, that's what I'm saying there. That's really? why now he was nice. really like, you know. <laughs> sure, sure. And also ZZ was the one who was like, because also those days, you know, he would be posting on Facebook. So before I post something, I'll go to ZZ and I'll be like, is it fine? Is the English mm, fine? And sure, was like, oh, sure. just fix it. And, you know, and yes. also the Bible. I also learned English in the Bible, like mm, reading the Bible in English. I see. I, yeah, I learned mm. a lot there. So he was the one who was like, so mm. also just became close. And there's a Said that was a blessing, you know, mm. because now I want to back to class. You know, I'll go for him for, for a lot of stuff because it's like that guy's like new plants, like mm. the plant book. Okay, you see? so he was like helping a lot. So that's why I'm saying at first because I used to be just scared of him. Like, mm. This serious guy was he used to bring our species, you know, when we we're doing plants. Mm. So now I just became close to him. I was working close to him, we were like driving out like every day, you know, working together. So yeah. So I, I started working with him, then I worked there for six months, and it was amazing, it was enjoyable. Mm. So yeah, so us, we don't do, we do a year, but uh, we don't do it straight away. You don't do? We don't do the year straight away. I okay, sure, do sure, away. Sure. So us, we like do the six months, go back to class, and mm -hmm. our last six months is when then we graduate. Oh, I see, I see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So now um, I I went back to class and then things now started to be difficult, you know, because now just like as I'm saying, you have friends, you have other commitment. I like now also became a lead. I, became, I joined leadership in SO. Mm. Now that's SO and also you attend in church and also was also a leader in church. So it just became overwhelming. Mm. And uh, at that point, you also kind of also have this thing. You don't want to disappoint God, right? Mm. <laughs> I mean, you raised up your hand so that you want to serve. <laughs> exactly. Sure. And now you kind of don't know how to navigate now the serving. Mm. You don't know how to navigate the other things, you know. And actually balancing the workload. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. And to know that the whole purpose for you to be there is because you joined SO because first of all, you're a student. Mm. You see? So you sort of now neglecting that. Not that also you're neglecting, but mm. the balance, you see? Like, just like uh, as we used to write every Monday, Mm. Okay. So now, here you are. Friday is SEO. Saturday, it's leadership meetings. Sunday is church. So tell me, when did you study in all that? Mm. You see, Monday you're writing. Mm. So now you're just like, what? And if you remember how we used to, our church was starting late. Mm. You see? So now, church is starting late. So that means you, comes, you can't really study between mornings because you have to prepare for church. Exactly. And you're sure. also like, you know, just waking up for a day. Yeah. So you're also like breathing. You're like, ah, you just want to breathe. Mm. You see? You need some so, time to just relax and get time to think. Exactly. Sure. You see, so now, and also if church that late, of course, it's end up late. It's mm. you end up getting at home like around nine, around ten. You're tired already. You're exhausted. <laughs> and you're writing tomorrow. 
<laughs> Look at that. You are exhausted and you're writing. Sure, people. sure. So now you start, um, it's just dropping, you know, it's dropping and dropping and dropping. And yeah, and that started happening. And as I said, I just didn't know really how to really navigate, mm. you know, that. So now, yeah. And, and, and I'm like, there was even no space for relationship. <laughs> You didn't have time to think no, of relationships. No, 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 no. No, but uh, thank God I'm married now. Yeah. But you can see that if you kind of didn't get something there, mm. it's kind of like now difficult to kind of get. Mm. You see, because mm. I don't know, maybe we, you are now like too independent. Oh, I just don't know. But I, I, I want, before we get to the relationship, it sounds <laughs> like it's a very nice Hi. conversation. <laughs> uh, how how did you now then uh, navigate that challenge of having to have church commitment, uh, schoolwork commitment? How did you end up having to? Because I mean, you're a graduate now, so, <laughs> so which means you probably might have find a way of kind of like um, managing that scenario. How did you manage it? I remember. I think. I didn't go back to serving to SEO when the term finishes. Okay. Yeah. And also church kind of also gave us a break in leadership. Mm. So, so yeah, so now it was more of... Also, you were more like a, 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 a committed member going to church, but not necessarily being in leadership. Yeah, I, I think I was still in leadership, but the, the commitment now, you know, it's, oh, it's okay. not, it's just like giving a break. You kind of mm. say, okay, we can excuse you for meetings, we can, you know, when you, you have to write, mm. things like that, yeah. No, I think that's that's actually a cool thing to, to, to find organizations that kind of like... Uh, have those things in mind that as much as you are a student, uh, as much as you are a member or mm-hmm, leader, mm-hmm. you need to get time to actually go mm-hmm. work on your studies. Because um, I usually tell these youngsters that uh, when your parents bring you here, they didn't bring you here to go to church. They brought you to come and study and you need to excel in it. Exactly. So that true. balance is very much important true, to true. balance your church work and your studies mm, 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 mm. and your priorities. Your priorities, mm. you have to know mm. that uh, your priorities are, are, are your schools and it's not like you can't fellowship with God in exactly. your own space. You can you can do that, but just know that your priority is school because when the parents are coming, when they, they won't be asking <laughs> how many people would you baptize. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> uh, which is a true thing true, that your true. parents don't ask all those questions mm-hmm. and <laughs> they ask where's the report and the report true. must look good true. and 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 besides besides the report looking good it's also your career it's also your life because uh, when you're at school you are you are building towards your life unless if you want to be a pastor i mean like if you want to be a pastor then uh, you can try to manage both these two things but mm-hmm. if you're not a pastor mm-hmm. You are a child of God. Mm-hmm. A child of God mm-hmm. means that you're excelling mm-hmm. in other things. Because, like, you can be an engineer who is a child of God. You get what I mean? True. Mm. And what you're mentioning now, I think, is also things I think that we're not kind of exposed to. We also think serving God, you know, is in the church, you know. Sure. It's something we didn't really know that serving God, even your studies, you know, they're like preaching, you know, mm. because when you, the, the moment you say, special nowadays, mm. the moment you say, I am a Christian, I am a Jesus follower, people see result you see people want to see result people want to see you excelling people want to mm. see you uh that's why they were like <laughs> why are you <laughs> why are you say it's like jesus making people poor mm. you know mm. uh jesus making you fail sure you see because sometimes it's that so i saw that it's really the balance of things mm. that we just didn't balance the thing you can actually serve god in that space just like what you're saying that sure because the moment, just like this other guy was a very smart guy, he was like passing and really he became a top student okay. and he received what it's called what? Cum laude. Yes, 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 cum laude. And also the spazer, can, chancellor spazer, I think something like vice chancellor spazer, I think their buzzer is like that for two okay. students. Okay, I'm ready, they know about not, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, mm. there's, their buzzer is like that, yeah. Sure. They receive like those vice chancellors. Nice. Um, yeah, mm. buzzer is. So, so imagine that being... Um, being being a Christian, mm. you see, I remember mm. also how uh, uh, I see also something I was just even thinking this other day how also JTL you know became a thing because mm. 
this guy that was this guy that we always of course I didn't know was from JTL but mm. like a top student the whole CPUT you sure, know sure. Uh, that pastor mm. so already we are representing God people mm. want to follow that mm. you say you are saving God in that space you so mm. people just want to come to you can you please show me that as we are showing them that you'll be like okay before we study here yeah, we must pray mm. Are you saying that? Because that's what also we used to do also with Elpin and before we started, we would pray. And people were just joining the study group. People were just mm. joining the study group and joining SCO. So making, and making impact. Yes, 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 sure. yes, yes. So that's why I'm saying just like what you're saying now, that the first thing when your parents come, they don't ask. So it's things that we're also supposed to know that you don't have to feel guilty, you know, mm. with certain things. Because mm. I think that's when it's that, that you just feel guilty that mm. I didn't go to church on Sunday. Yeah, I think it, 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 is, it is something that affects students. Mm -hmm. And I think we were, we have been in that space and we kind of like understand that, okay, we, you, you kind of like feel like you need to do service to God mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in, in church yes, only yes, yes, yes. and you, you don't necessarily see service mm -hmm. to God mm -hmm. in your studies. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a very beautiful balance to, mm -hmm. to know that, uh, besides, I, I mean, like, this is not trying to play down the importance yeah. of God yes, yes, and yes, being yes, a child yes. of God mm -hmm. is just to understand the assignment per time. It's like, it's like me being a, an engineer and keep on preaching instead of having to do the actual work. Exactly. So, yes. so I think students, they kind of like don't see it that way. They feel like probably being a student, you're on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> And and you don't really take it serious, and which is the reason why probably I'm having this podcast to also mm -hmm. help other. Because the thing is, with us, we're discussing we're discussing church challenges. There mm -hmm. are people who can discuss being having in a relationship, which is where we're gonna go to <laughs> <laughs> having a relationship on campus. How it can affect your studies. How it can affect your performance in your mm -hmm. in your studies. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that. Uh, uh, what's this? You said uh, you didn't have time to yes. to do all this relationshiping and everything. Uh, was there any benefit for that, or did you feel like you left you? What do you call it? You missed out as well. I sometimes feel I missed out. Okay. You know I. <laughs> yes, I, I I do sometimes feel like I missed out, but I also at some point also feel like okay, maybe God was saving me. You know that maybe that. Maybe God was saving me just like for where I am right now. So, so yeah. So, but I do feel that. At least you have dated at least one or two guys. <laughs> no, 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 not, not, not to sort of like, I do it like that. Mm. You see, but you also see that no, the way you know, I, I don't know how God created this thing. There's just a difference between men. A relationship when you're like in a friendship and relationship relationship you know mm. because friendship is just like different of course your friend's gonna be there but when you're just having that partner you mm. know that just encourage you like oh baby you can do this you know just like <laughs> when mm. i'm married now no something like that someone who even say mom let's go study you see yeah something maybe to just kind of build a future with from scratch mm. so from 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 um, I don't know the actual statistics, which is which would be a very nice thing to kind of like know. Um, I think I'm gonna start having to ask students in terms <laughs> of uh, if they've dated and if it has actually worked out, because uh, apparently apparently this is not a, a proven fact that most relationships that start in varsity mm -hmm. they never really come out. Oh, come on, ne? So in a sense, you are. Do I call it wasting your time? Or you are giving yourself a chance to true love? <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> it's, it's very tricky because, <clears throat> like, like you said, I think you actually touched on it a bit and said that um, the moment you get out of varsity, sometimes it's actually hard to find someone who is in the space that you're in. Because mm -hmm. I mean, like, um, I remember I had Pastor Walter talking about how you actually become uh, married or how you actually become in a relationship. Mm. If you have to be in a space where there's actually someone who will see you as a candidate mm. or as a potential. Mm. Mm. So um, uh, let me just go back so that at least I don't have to <laughs> talk about stuff we're not supposed to talk about. <laughs> so so relationships, would you, would you say that relationships are 
in, can you encourage having a relationships on adversity or is it something that you can just maybe just wait up until you you graduate i i think to most things uh, nobody say there are pros and cons mm. to them sure because also from my perspective is that you know as a service attend so and it's like when we like most of us are done now it's like people are getting married i'm like hey so that's why they were together sure. i don't know if you noticed sure. that it's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. most of the most people got married from seo yeah and i'm like okay this were together this were together oh, okay it makes sense it makes yeah. sense yeah. so to everything there are like pros and cons to mm. it so i wouldn't say i advise people to and i wouldn't say i advise people not sure. to so if you it, what i can say is that just maybe to say and also from my side of course just do what honors god mm. you see i would just say that that do what honors god if you maybe feel ready to be kinder you can get to know someone mm-hmm. you see you can get to know people because I can also just like, imagine like I mean those are spending parents money you know how nice it is to go out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know you take each other out you know mm. you get to know each other because yeah I think that the moment you start working I don't know sometimes like become also too busy and mm. it's like how does it work yeah yeah you know, and if you're just working like me as I said I think God I'm married because I'm just like working in one place so if I was not married, who sees me there? Mm, mm. <laughs> Is it because I'm just with this? Always the people. Because you're always in one routine. Exactly. So you can't really get into different exactly. places. And, and I think joining a society makes it easier for you to be seen. Uh, I guess I'm giving people a relationship <laughs> <laughs> advice. Yeah. Uh, but getting getting into different societies, whether it be a church or something like that, it gives you opportunity for someone to see you as a candidate for dating exactly and and i mean that, that's for a woman but for guys i mean like if you're working around uh, um, for you guys open. It's, it's it's easy it's but it's not as easy because remember it's, there's also compatibility so i can just see a woman who's working around and and just approach her there's there's gonna be that that uh, process of trying to get to know each other yeah but that's not the one that's what i was also i was telling this other lady in, in um in the morning i'm mm-hmm. like actually we're taking most of the things wrongly you know? okay that's why they're breaking us we're in relationship now that because can't. i'm like dating actually it's just like what you're saying getting to know each other getting to know those things are we compatible mm-hmm. you see are we of course maybe because of course most of the time especially men when you approach someone or also when you're approaching me mm-hmm. first of all like oh i love his height you see i don't know anything yet you see but those are the things that what they lead me to know other things because mm. I just loved your height. Sure. I just loved your eyes because that's what I can see. You see, mm. there are other things that are deep, just like what you're saying, that I still need to dig out. I still need mm. to... So dating is kind of for that. And you can actually even break it off nice, you know, to kind of say, no, we're not... It's not going to work, yeah, sure. It's not working, you know. Mm. But because once people, they don't even want to get to know each other, I'm sure <laughs> or the next thing they're sleeping to each other, those mm. are the things that breaks people. Sure. You see, that dating was supposed for you to get to know each other. Take each other out, go, you speak, you mm. you talk and, and all that. But, okay, people, they don't do that. They take each other to the bedroom. And mm. that's the thing now. So, obvious things are just messed up already. Everything is already, you have skipped the... The, exactly. The you see, so now even to, to break off other. now, just like what the Bible says, fitter. that once you sleep, you marry. That's why mm. now there's a head. You know when you're breaking mm. something, mm. so that's when the head comes now. Uh, I like I like that. Um, uh, that's that someone once said that uh, uh, sex is like uh, taking to to what do you call this wood, mm-hmm. and you put super glue together, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when you when you when you remove them, you start seeing that there's actually one part of the other stuck on each other. Mm. So it's very becomes very hard. So there's stuff wow. that which are on the other person, which are stuck oh, on you and others. Yeah. yeah. So mm. it's actually quite quite interesting mm. uh, in that sense. And I think I like the the example that you gave mm. that uh, dating should be dating. Mm-hmm. It, it shouldn't be yeah. Yeah. added yeah. with many other mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. And because the moment you start doing that, you're mm-hmm. also compromising yourself mm-hmm. in a sense. True, uh, true. So you can't really, uh, what, what's the word? You can't really, it makes it very hard for you mm-hmm. to relieve that relationship. And unfortunately, in our times, uh, it seems like it's hard to just 
have a conversation without having to explore and and the the reason why sometimes even churches they this um discourage dating is because if you're on campus and you guys see you trying to get to know each other you guys probably if you're first years both first years so in these four years you're saying that you guys won't be trying to uh get tempted to be touching kissing and i mean like all those stuff the edge shop lead up lead up to having to be going to the bedroom no temptations they are there i can say temptation everywhere temptations they are sure. you know that's why i also probably say deliver from temptations mm-hmm. at workplace there are temptations mm-hmm. even when you're married ship there's still temptations you sure know? uh so we cannot really now to say um temptations at the but now that's when you have to resist temptations sure. you know and just stick to what you guys agreed on you mm-hmm. because temptation as, as i'm saying as we married still the, the there are stop. yeah that's true you see there are times when you're like tempted like oh but that one looks so good and mm-hmm. you're married you know yeah. and but you always have to like no i'm married and, and i think i actually love your honesty on that is sometimes being in marriage mm-hmm. it, it is meant to think that you no longer see Mm-mm. you no longer do all this stuff but it's the temp- the the self control mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. is required yes, to be yes, able yes, to yes. sustain what you have what you have said that you this mm-hmm. is what you want and this is what you stand on I really love that. I love that so and much. And also, those are the things that you're supposed to start with in dating. Mm. You start self-control in dating. You sure. Go with it to marriage. Wow. Because if most of the time, if, that's why they also most, most of the time teach that if it's left with you dating, it's going to do the same thing in marriage. It doesn't stop. Mm. You see, it doesn't stop because you're married. Because sure. <laughs> the devil is just the devil. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's, yeah. that's, so, that's so cool. The fact that temptation it will always be there it doesn't yeah, really matter yeah. and I, I think i think we have talked about different ways of how to navigate dating mm-hmm. and on campus and different op- different options whether you want to just not date exactly. at all mm-hmm. like you said that you, you didn't do anything on campus mm-hmm. but look at you you're happily married <laughs> Two children, <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yeah. And I, I like that. Mm-mm. So for those who want to go the the option where they actually date, because I mean, like we have seen different couples on campus who were dating during our SEO times. Now mm. they're married, and you can see that oh, these guys actually have they even have children, mm. and mm. Uh, we can't assume that mm. they're happy, but uh, mm. uh, let's hope that they're also happy mm. as well. Mm. So there's different stories that everyone can play around mm. and mm. it's just a matter of the the the, the coming together for bodies mm. it is the one which becomes very tricky mm. and i guess for those who are listening is to kind of like understand that okay have wisdom in terms of how yeah, to yeah. deal with that, dating yeah. mm. so uh that was mm. interesting talking about dating in, <laughs> in university. University, yeah. so you get to to work um how how was it like and and uh, how was it like uh, getting to work? Okay, I was start by graduating, you okay. know? Sure, the sure. Day, you're excited, sure, you did sure, make sure. up, you... Sorry, wearing a nice dress, and it's just a beautiful day, sure. Yeah. I cannot explain the feeling. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you're getting your, your qualification, mm-hmm. and they're calling you on stage, and, yeah, but the real thing, you know, she have really start now after that, and, mm. you know, now you have to Apply for a job. Look for the job. Yeah. Let things start now. <laughs> applying for jobs, you know, yeah. applying for jobs, applying for jobs. And uh, it's tough. It's, 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 it, it, it's just tough. Mm. You see, I, I, I came to, but I'm, I'm always grateful to God because I think for me it was only a year. It only a year, but you feel, you feel the and year. You feel it. I mean, like a year is a lot. Yeah. You feel, you feel the year. And also, for me, I had a child, so mm. I sort of also that year, as much as of course I'm applying, I was like, okay, this year, I actually want to look after my child. But also, as I also not working mom, it was like, okay, you know, of course the husband does the basics, right? Mm. Like, okay, the child has milk, diapers, what more? Mm. When as a mom, you know, like that pink, that colored bottle the husband's like no child needs a photo here's money for this is the photo you know sure sure but you you the one that colored one you know it's mm. winter you know mm. 
the child needs winter clothes. That's we just buy winter clothes here, yeah, Jesus. Mm. Well, I don't know. I like that one. That but you, you like want that. you want a, a nice standard and a nice exactly not work. like just yeah. the basics. So now mm. you can see that. Oh, if I was working, mm. you see, I could actually do those things with my man. So also sure. that that's why I'm saying that now. I'm starting applying. I remember there's at a time I. I applied for police, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah, I applied for police, okay. Yeah. They told me I even started exercising. Sure, sure. <laughs> I, yo, I should be, I, I even like started exercising. It's nice. Mm. They called me to write, I got to write, and I wrote so well. Mm. I wrote so well. Sure. And then now they just sent me a message. Um, I'm successful. Yo, I went through like a tag. You know when you're like already oh, like okay, mm. I'm so tired. I'm gonna work for government. Damn sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I mean so, you're you're actually running and making that effort. Yeah, to... you know, like that. I'm mm. just saying. Okay, so after that, go for training. After <laughs> writing, I'm like, what is writing? Sure. You know, also when you come into university, I mean, sure. it also just expand your mind. Mm. You see. Talking about that, I actually thinking that I should give a police officer. <laughs> on the podcast <laughs> just to share what, yeah, what they do yeah, yeah. anyways yeah you so, <laughs> <laughs> so now okay um, I got rejected and I went through like a really dark space and I tell you I'm like I think I can say it was depression mm. and also for me I can say special from me I know that most of the time because they say balance balance of what but from me I was like from a Christian perspective it was not believing the word of God mm. you know not believing what God what God's, God's promise is, you mm. see, because we're like, okay, God says come by without money. We're like, Lord, but what do you buy without money? <laughs> <I> <laughs> sure. mean, yep. They want money, you mm. see, the rent must be paid, this and this must be done, you see. So, and the word of God is just like that. So I'm just like going through that, this tackle, I'm like, Lord, have you failed me? And imagine it's not even a year, you know, sometimes the things we do to mm. God. <laughs> mm. Mm. So I'm like, Lord, but I know I wrote well. I know I wrote well, you know. And I got just now reminded me what I said. Remember? Didn't want to work at night. What do oh, police do? So do? Police do, yeah. yeah work at night. So God is looking out for you. you that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but at that moment, of course, you're just looking, you know, mm. just like what you said, that things change, you know, as you learn. Then mm. there are things that, no, just like, okay, when you're like in verse, you're like, I want to work mini this thing. I want mm. to want to dream me. When I, I, life gets ready, I that's, play shop, right? That's, that's so true. I, I, I think uh, uh, what you're saying is, the process of each and every person who's looking for a job. Mm -hmm. After graduating, you look for horticulture mm -hmm. and yes, yes, only yes, horticulture, yes, depending yes. on how long it is. Mm -hmm. And maybe after six months, you're like, hey, it's, it's, not, it's not working. Let me start <laughs> applying for everything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like you said, that the dark parts comes in when someone or something comes in. Maybe you get an interview and they reject you. That, that energy that's taking from you, say, tell you that we regret. <laughs> After being excited, thinking that you're going to get, uh, whether it be you have been praying or not, uh -huh. and still comes back and says that no. And that really can be a very hard exactly. on, on a person. And especially we regret. That's mm. really, and mm. I, I, you know, I also used to pray. <laughs> sure, like, sure. When they come and say, Lord, I reject this rejection. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shame. I just feel, you know, when, I, when it just feels like these things becoming yeah. your identity, and I was like, mm. rejected, this rejected. I'm like, no, no, I'm rejecting this sure. rejection. Sure, sure. And before that, I forgot to mention that, before that, I did an in-service training. No? Mm. And uh, as I said, parents' money was, oh, I was like, me, I want to work in this place, shall forgive me, mm. you know, like this certain company. And it's like, yo, we're working so hard, you know, and I was like, so long did I sit in class to just, for this, not allowed to sit down, you know, we are, the, 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 when you go to lunch, you know, to look at the time and all those things. And I was like, no, <laughs> Lord, I mean, I don't want to work like sure, that. Sure, sure. And I even resigned, you know, I, that it mm. was given 12 months. It's like, me, I can't work in that thing. To, as I said, parents' man was still mm. varsity. Sure, so sure. Between the parents' man, so what is work? Mm. I'm like, and I would even ask the workers, you guys are working in an environment like that. Me, I can resign. You can <laughs> never. <laughs> And actually followed up to your word, yeah. Yes, and it's like, no, Galo, I'm still, you know. And now, Chef, you know, when I'm not waking, I remember that. Oh, what? what? I, I, I ate and my jello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, even like the guy was kind of like, uh, like, I think a guy, if maybe I really wanted to go back there, I can approach and say, mm. when I come back. Sure. You see? But I was like, 
So now I'm like, yo, even Lord, I don't even mind. I won't even mind that one. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you see, so now you remember what I said. I was asking those one, why are they still there? Now sure. I have responsibilities. Mm. You know, as I said, that parents are like a done in school. So, huh? <laughs> yeah, you, you're see? even a married woman at this exactly, time, so you can't. Exactly, you're on your own. Sure. You see, so, so now I'm just like applying anything. So as I said, apply that. And then the, the rejection came and God just reminded me of that. I remember this other day I woke up, Shabby. Mm. And God just said, go to the internet. I went to the internet. And then I, I didn't even know what city of Cape Town is. Yeah, but I'm in Cape Town. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know, this thing was only just like, you've been, I've been in university. Mm. I've been, and... One thing about me, and I used to see you. Yo, yo one person was exploring. I was like, this yeah. guy used to be getting their money to explore. Because then you're like, we'll go out, you, we'll um, have fun. Yeah. I mean, I was just always in dress. Mm. And that moment, I don't know where the water is coming from. You know that thing. And mm. also now, I go out, I'm renting. I'm not sure. doing anything. So nothing, I have nothing to do with the city of Cape Town. Sure. So I'm like, then God was like, click there. And I clicked, you see. And... Okay, I saw, and God was like, read up the thing. They see there's a graduate internship, you just SMS. Yo, I went to know. I, I even borrowed that a time from what I got. Sure, sure. And then I SMS, I SMS. I, I had a time, then it finished, I borrowed from because mm. you just keep on asking questions, you know. Mm. And then I just did that. And then after that, okay, that was it, you know. And then I was like, okay. After some time, then they called me, I remember, but I was in the kitchen, I missed the call. Then the, the, I had the first one I think I didn't meet. Okay. Mm, missed, uh, I, I, yes, I missed the first one, sorry. And then the guy left a message, mm. uh, even left his number. Okay. To contact, and so I was like reading, yo, you know, I was just kidding, like, did I just miss a job now? You know, like, mm-hmm. I missed it. And the guy she was so lonely enough, was mm. just so merciful enough to call again. Like, sure. And then he just called me for interview and, and all that. And then just now I went for the interview, it's internship, city of Cape Town. Sure. I'm, I'm going for the interview, it's in, it was in the company garden, you know, it's a garden, it's sort of culture. Come on. So, yeah. <laughs> I go there, I did do the interview, and then it was like, oh, okay, we just wanted to see you, and you know those interviews. Yeah. Sure. So I come back home, and yo, it was October ship, stayed. You know, also when you're like not working, was it October, September, something like that? It's like mm. the, the things are also long, you know, the months are long. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, October, November, December. Like, so now I'm even like contacting them. They're like, no, I didn't even know that their process is slow. So now that I mean, I just say that, no, just forget. You know, just mm. apply and forget. Just apply and forget, okay. So now, January, I, I just like, let it like that, man. So like, ah, okay, maybe I didn't pass the interview. Mm. You see? February, shipping now, when it was like about to finish, then they get a call. Like, yes, and the congratulations, come sign your contract. Nice. Yo, I thank nice. God. I thank God. And I just go to sign the contract now. And um, it was starting March. Mm. I love the salary. It's first start, you know, internship. Mm. And then, okay, first day, I, 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 now I'm going to work, and then I just come there. You know, as I said, like most of horticulture, you just do the working job. It's like you're more hands on. Okay. Is it? So I'm just like, okay, where am I? Which my is the nature of horticulture, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like wearing my normal clothes, you know, just like going there and. It's a garden, most I'm ready to, and I'm just given an office. I'm mm. like, wow, look at God, yeah, oh, that day even cried. So you have an office at this point, yes, okay? I'm given an office, like, oh, okay, this is where your office is gonna sit here. This is your computer, you know, this is everything. And mm. because they'll be, ah, after that, should they give me an email address, most, and mm. it's like, with your name, name. come on, at gov.co. Come on, government. That's it, yeah. It's like it kept on, and I was like, God, where am I? You know, that's when I'm dying. So now I'm asking that lady, was that like, I'm like, Gandhi, I'm not working out. So I'm like, no, no, you're working for city, you're not working with those people. Those mm. people are a contractor. When I'm mm. gonna be like, watching those people, mm. and I'm like, wow, I just cried. And imagine she I got employed before COVID. Wow. Before COVID. And yeah. I was like, 
And we're just going on lo- lockdown. I'm employed, getting full salary. Nice. And I'm like, I just like, I was like, God, no. <laughs> I mean, God, God came through for you at the right time. Yes, 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 yes. And, and I think I, I really love that story so much. Uh, that's just the fact that uh, from the beginning, you said that God told you that go and apply at this job. Mm-hmm. And and it's it's one of those things where, uh, depending on what other people believe in, but it's good to have spiritual backup in a it, sense, big time. And 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 I mean, in in my case, it will always be we highly recommend Jesus. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> right? yes, yes. And um, I think I like that the fact mm. that you're saying that you you got got that awakening or mm. that nudge or that call to that make this mm-hmm. move, mm-hmm. and you made this move and. God set you up just before the COVID came in mm. and look at what God has done. I you understand? You. And uh, I, I know we didn't really touch much on what you were doing on in, in your internship or in service training. So I just want you to explain that so that at least someone who's okay. going to be doing, who's going to be listening to, to understand, okay, what will okay. they be doing in an okay. horticulture? And then we, after that, then we can come back to the one that oh, you're doing now right. at City. Yeah. yeah. So the first in, in service training now were more of uh, doing, because horticulture is broad. Mm. And you go so kind of like what they would say, find your niche and just stick with it. Sure. So we were doing indoor plants, which okay. I loved it. I loved it so okay. much. So basically, we're just like maintaining, mm. planting and just maintaining the indoor plants, you know, and um, treating the the indoor plants. So what we basically do is just like um, go, check the plants, the water levels, and then... Um, well, how, check how are you checking water levels? <laughs> it just, it, it, it depends, Chevy. You mm. can also look at the plant, you know, if mm. maybe you're not seeing any um, visible, what do they call symptoms mm. you can just um other other uh, pots you know the pots that they put plant sure, they have sure. that water level thing that mm. they can show you that okay, okay the okay. plant is the water level then mm. others you just insert your your finger mm. of course just feel that okay it's dry okay, okay there's no moisture mm-hmm. you see so and then uh, other plants get their rot most of the time when they're in water. Oh, okay, sure, 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 sure. To too much water, water. water. okay. Yeah. Okay. They're not aquatic plants. <laughs> <laughs> so they rot, yeah. So you, sure. it's, it's visible that when you just see the plant like rotting, you know, the plant turning kind of yellow. Okay. And you see that, no, there's there's too much water. And most of the time when there's less water, it's turning kind of brown. Mm. You see, you can see it's like it's wilting. Mm. That there's there's no water, so so you check you check that you put water you put water you remove dead leaves because plant is it grows most it also like it, it's like a snake shades off yeah some, yeah shades okay. off yeah some mm. old leaves and continue with the the new as it's it's going up mm. so so yeah so you also check that you say mm. okay is um is the plants fine and you just remove that if also is a plant that it's because also in those plants now they shouldn't also like grow so now you yeah, do sure. also the trimming now to yeah. make sure that you control the growth now to say okay uh, you are in the group you can't grow to this guy <laughs> can't be going to the <laughs> yes, ceiling you can't grow again too much on the side sure say. sure yeah. People must still move and, and, and mm. do their things mm. if you're in the corner you must just maintain the corner side mm. so yeah and also seeing that is the the way we position the just like there's winter you know winter sunlight and uh okay sure, summer sure, sure. is different mm. so now since maybe we position that plant since like it was summer since now it's winter it's still getting enough sunlight or we must put it okay you said something very interesting there winter <laughs> sunlight is different from summer sunlight yeah in what way in uh you can see most like it's also short the is, intense, it, is it the intensity or i think it's and also the directions mm, you also okay, notice yeah, that the, the directions, directions like, doesn't yeah. come uh, okay. the same direction that's okay, why you also okay. want to sit in the sun when it's sure. <laughs> sure 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 so it's like different like mm, that, that. Mm. when it's winter yeah you you move the plants you get enough sunlight for mm. it to grow you know plants must need sunlight that's, that sounds interesting. So, the, which is the reason why you said that that's a more hands-on job. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Where you're actually doing the the taking care of mm-hmm. of the plants. Mm-hmm. And what 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 kind of, like do 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 horticulturists have like a, a pride of um, let's say for example. I'm not sure about doctors. I, I'm still I'm still to sit down with a doctor. Like when you have saved a life, and maybe you're coming from a major operation, or maybe just like diagnosed correctly, 
it's the same thing with you guys where you become so proud yes. that yeah you know this plant is, is yes. growing well in my hands uh, yes i used sure. to be like that <laughs> really? and i used to speak to my plants you know? <laughs> really yes. sure sure i used to and i always have also this thing you know like god is in me like it's helping you know me do things you know just like as i was saying like, when I, I even prayed for my plants and nice. i just see as i said this miracle just like what you say and there's just that proud moment that you came this you came in this plant was dying mm. especially most of the plants that were dying especially sure. the plants will take mm. them back to the greenhouse because mm. they must it's like it's like, our it's like parishion I room it's like i see you yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, i love that you know sure, you just see that sure. no, those plants need highly yeah, <laughs> just in yeah. case, you know sure. and then and then you, you you just take it you know it was broken and all that and then you change this one you know you put it nice you stack it because mm-hmm. it plants when you can't balance most you just put those uh, like a stick like this mm-hmm. you know you stack it then you just keep on even pouring like nutrients your nutrients and mm-hmm. looking at it is watered nice it's getting enough sun you see even like sometimes when it's not getting enough light because most of the green light we're using like artificial light it's most mm-hmm. of the nice okay, like sure, so you sure. also like take it out you mm-hmm. know, during the day you know guess that sun and you take mm. it back and when you just see it like green now oh my god that's, yeah, that's yeah, i mean i mean I, I, i'm just loving i'm just loving horticulture horticulture as you're explaining it that it's like i mean that you put it very nicely that's the best way and that's, i feel like that's the best way to actually explain what horticulture is mm-hmm. which is a doctor for plants mm-hmm. uh, so 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 from there onwards, you move on to this new job and you're now managing people who do that. So what were you actually doing there? So it's sort of uh, still the same thing, but now you're not more of on hands-on, mm. but you just like now have to make Management, sure that yeah, yeah the, the, the things are done correctly, mm. you see, because now um, those are people with experience and you're coming you know, from school, you're doing like things with book, you know, to mm. say, no, no, you're not supposed to use this soil. Because mm. to someone, like planting is planting, is soil, let's use the soil. Mm. You see, but to us, we use different mediums. You see, there are plants that you just use uh, this thing, it was called what, clay something, but it's like a clay, you know. So okay. there's no soil there. It's mm. most of the time they use to grow lettuce, you see. That's why you don't find most of soil in the lettuce. Um, oh, yes. okay, sure, sure. You see sure. lettuce in the village, how is it? Like, you, you mm. wish it there from yeah, the yeah, garden. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, I get it. Yeah, I yeah, get it, yeah, yeah sure. But uh, most of the, the growers, they don't mm. grow lettuce. Like, they just grow, like, in that thing to kind of just balance it. I see, see. So I see, just, yeah. So like, it's, it's like marbles. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind of a balance. And so it just it gets nutrients water so that's why you see it is clean okay okay uh, yeah the roots are clean mm. is it so so um the the management what, what kind of projects are you working on um do do are you are you managing uh what do you call this thing now uh, are you managing the gardens in cpu like in the in the car in the in the in the, the town gardens, yeah so what kind of projects are you working on are you just doing just gardens or are you doing other parks or something like that yeah it, it was not only for us it was not only the garden we're also mm. like doing other parks like around the time or within our area mm. let me just put it like that and also now so once you are in park it's, it's more now so you you also entering engineering right you okay. must install benches you must sure. install like playing equipment mm. you see so it was more of as I said, it, it, it's, it was more of, again, in the garden was more of maintenance. Mm. You see that you just make sure that the garden is kept in the standard for people's enjoyment. Oh, you see, okay. just make sure the trees, and just like now, as I said, it's winter. The um, plants that don't flower in winter. Mm. So now you put plants, you put also seasonal plants, you know, to just okay. keep the beauty of the garden. So you put, the same. put for, for summer and you put for yes, each, almost yes. for, for almost each and every season. Yeah, but okay. most of the things that were there, they, of course, they're summer, they give summer flowers. So summer, you don't worry much. It's winter now that you have to mm. put your, 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 your it's plants. It's like more like maintenance time. Winter. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. You see, you just also like, just give the beauty, you know, to to the garden. Make sure there's color. Let me just put mm. it like that, this okay. color. Yeah, you don't okay. want to see only green things, right? You think the <laughs> other one yellow, the yeah. other one red, the other one pink, yeah. Sure. And then uh, from, from there onwards, uh, what, what I've noticed is that uh, you guys, it's like it's very hard to get jobs for horticulturists. Uh, what, what could be the reason uh, behind that? 
It's the, the, the industry is, uh, I can also, let me just put it like in a way that, I think for me, one of the things that I also noticed, ne? Mm. it's kind of the say that the industry is broad. Mm. So it's kind of like when you're in school, I think they have to teach you like doctors again. It's kind of say that find your kind of niche that you love. What you love is it planting potatoes. Mm. You see, and you just stick with that, and mm. you 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 perfect yourself. You, you 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 train yourself in that. Like okay, when I'm out of there, I just wanna don't wanna do everything. Just wanna grow potatoes. Sure. Just wanna grow cabbages. You mm. see, I just want. So now it's kind of like also you don't kind of know yourself. You know, you go out, come out of school. You also have all this information. So now, most of, as I said, also the, the industries, they're also not doing everything. Mm. It's also most of the time it's guidance centers that they kind of have everything. Mm. But most mm. industries, even that's why even the guidance centers, the order is from there. They order the strawberries from that company. They were ordering oranges from that company. Oh, okay. Are you seeing that? Sure. So it's, it's, it's kind of in the garden that you can get a bit of everything, mm. you see. But now the... The the it's industries like, now that one grows strawberries, that one grows potatoes, that one grows lona. They don't do most of the things at the same time. That's what I'm of thinking them. of now is uh, in Cape Town, you could specialize in grapes, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. apples. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's what's the the fruits which or the vegetables which are known in that mm-hmm. region? Mm-hmm. Like in Limpopo, obviously, you'll probably have more options. Pumalanga. <laughs> 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 oranges, Pumalanga, yes. yes. You have, yes, you have yes. oranges and mm-hmm. all those other stuff. Bananas, yeah. Which makes it easier for you to kind of like... Um, and in a sense, it's, it's, it's in a sense enlightening. So I think mm. that also helps mm. for someone to understand that, okay, this is mm. what I want to do. This is what yes, I want to focus yes, on. Yes, 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 yes. So, so in a nutshell, I'm saying that what makes people sometimes not really get jobs is not... Uh, finding companies that they can just focus on one thing and mm. excel in it. Mm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. And also also the industry, when we're done with school, you can also say that it was also full, I don't know, to, to mention it, like full of people, mm. full of white people, mm. you see. And so now to, to kind of break through for you, it's, oh, okay. you know, sure. it's sort of hard. Most of the time, even when you're working there, you kind of like work less of what you were supposed to be getting or mm. less of what you were supposed to be doing. Yes, so the responsibility is not, uh, it's not worth it as well sometimes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. So that's why also people also ended up, just end up giving up, you know, mm. because you're like working so hard for what you're getting, you see. Mm. It's the same thing I said that I resigned because I was like, so I went to school for this. It, it doesn't make sense. Sure, you see, sure. It doesn't make sense. I, I, I studied and I come work as someone who didn't go to school. Sure. You see, so uh, I think also that. So that's why I can say it's kind of like hard. It's, it's hard to get jobs here. Interesting. Um, I think we've, we've really touched a lot on um, uh, horticulture. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't, I don't want to conclude here, but I think maybe we might, we might as well have to conclude. <laughs> but I thank you so much for for like bringing insight, and even the second conversation was it's, it feels like it's even much better than the one that we had earlier on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 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 so it's so nice to kind of like understand how what what art culture is mm-hmm. and having and understanding it in in general and. The other thing is the students are actually doing it now mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it's it's important to kind of like for them to understand okay this is how they're going to na- they have to navigate themselves uh-huh. within mm-hmm. that 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 uh what do you call this now within that space mm-hmm. and then from there onwards then then know how to pr- pr- uh, put themselves in the mm-hmm. in the and yeah, space. you have to prove mm-hmm. yourself it, it's really a competitive industry you have to mm-hmm. you know once you're kind of sort of given an opportunity you have to like work hard mm-hmm. there you have to just like work out to stand out so yeah mm-hmm. yeah thank you so much Zanile. Uh, i think just to conclude it you can just uh, advise or encourage someone who's listening this to this and just Make them feel um, uh, encouraged in, in this time. <laughs> so, as I've mentioned, Shep, is that when you're just doing horticulture, find it, it, your horticulture is very broad. Mm. You know, it's broad. So, kind of find maybe what you really love doing that 
Mm. I love what the man said that find what you love to do even if you won't get money from it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> but you, you need yeah. so because so that you won't get bored first of mm-hmm. all you know because other things can be boring you know <laughs> okay. you also you feel like it's a bad in the time thing also I was yeah. working there I felt like it's a bad and also started not enjoying this thing because mm. it falls falls like a bad in, you see mm. and also yeah just uh just find there in school when you're in school find what you really love mm-hmm. most maybe learn because also as i said abroad what i love about it also is that you can actually be a businesswoman businessman you can actually do your own thing you don't yes. also just you know you're just this woman dependent to be just handed a job or no you can you can actually do your, your own thing you can can as you said that if you especially if you're from the bombo in pumalang i mean yeah. we have learned there for, for yeah. free so sure. you can actually go home you know do do your own thing because you are now empowered you know with the information you're empowered with your education so you can just go there you know make use of it and also as i said if you are given opportunity there out there just especially during in-service training because that's when also they get to you know mm. know you and see you yeah just prove yourself i know most of the time as i said it's hard because you're still eating parents money most you know mm. it's like the world is not really real you know yeah. things are not Really, it's like, oh, yeah. okay. As I said, it's like when you grow up, okay, you're just gonna primary, secondary, university, then you get a job, buy the dream house, you know, mm. buy the dream car, and that's just life. <laughs> you see? And the, but, but life gives you a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> but like, when you just finish university, you'll be like, is this the life I dreamt of? <laughs> sure, sure. I so, yeah, so also for me, just when you're given an opportunity, Shep, which is especially most of the time because um as i said in service most they apply for you most of the time so if it happens it just give you that opportunity prove yourself mm-hmm. work hard yeah show commitment and show that you love what you do what mm-hmm. you're doing now i think with that said uh, thank you so much uh, i think for those who are listening they, they need to work hard and um stop eating your parents money <laughs> what are we gonna eat <laughs> mm-hmm. um work hard and Make sure that you're competent. Love your work. Mm-hmm. Competent, I, I yeah. Love, love I, that. I love that. And yeah, thank you so much for coming through. Uh, thank you so much for having me. What's up? 